the vessel ever given, one of the biggest ultra-large container vessels in the world, ran aground around on Tuesday, March the 23rd, 2021. After six days, the ship was successfully refloated on March the 29th, thanks to the efforts involving several tugs and dredging, in combination with high tidal water. The big concern after that is the root cause of the event. Several theories have been raised, and ultimately, the accident could be down to a mix of things at once. These are the key factors that can be the cause of the accident. The following have been suggested. 1. Strong wind, tidal current, and weather factors affected the ship maneuverability. 2. The hydrodynamic effects to the ship sailing in the narrow and shallow channel, such as bank effects and squat. 3. Technical problems such as the failure of the steering or propulsion system affected its maneuverability. 4. Missing escort towage. Escort towage means the use of a tug to assist effectively in both speed and directional control of the vessel. 5. The enormous size of the ship with huge momentum. This can lead to uncontrollability during the passing in the canal. 6. Human errors. What is the root of the casualty? There will be no firm answers until the investigations have concluded. This video is to explain what the bank effect is, and how it influences a vessel in a narrow channel. Look back the track plotting from the air's data of the ship, when entering the Suez Canal. The bank effect could likely start at this position, when the ship was close to the port sea bank, and the steering control lost. It could be due to the combination of the wind from the south. At the moment, right before the grounding position, the ship was again close to the port sea bank, at about 13 knots, her bow sheared outwards, while the stern swung inwards the bank. This strong swing could cause the ship to hit the starboard side bank, and run the ground. In this situation, it may likely that the steering of the ship was not controllable. The counter-application of ship rudder could not strong enough, to compensate for the banking effects. Let's come back to the theory about the bank effects. The bank effect is the tendency of the bow to shear away from, and the stern of a ship to swing toward the nearest bank, when sailing in the channel. The first is called bow cushion and later is called bank suction. Bow cushion and bank suction effects are found in conjunction with one another. Bow cushion. Bow cushion is caused by increased water pressure between channel bank and ship's bow caused by ship's bow wave. Bank suction is caused by decreased water pressure between the nearest channel bank and the ship's stern. To explain this, first, refer to the law of continuity. This law is stated simply, what flows into a defined volume, in a defined time, minus what flows out of that volume in that time, must accumulate in that volume. The law says that the product of area and speed is constant. A is the area of a cross-section between the ship hull and the bank. V is the velocity of the water flows through. It means that velocity between the ship and the bank at the bow is smaller than such at the midship and the stern. But what is the relationship between the speed of the fluid and bow cushion and bank suction? This can be explained by Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle states that an increase in the speed of a fluid occurs simultaneously with a decrease in static pressure or a decrease in the fluid's potential energy. That means that, if the speed is low, the pressure is high, and vice versa. Just in front of the ship, the speed is very low, because the ship pushes the water forward. This results in a bow wave. Just behind the ship the water is sucked to the vacant space, left by the passing ship. So the water's speed relative to the ship is almost zero, resulting in a stern wave. Where the ship is the largest beam, the speed is the highest, resulting in a wave trough called the shoulders. Bow wave, shoulders, and stern wave together make the primary wave system around the ship. The water's speed is extra increased, and so the pressure lowered just before the stern of the ship. Where the suction of the propeller is amplifying the effects. Because the velocity of the water blocked between the ship, and the bank in the midship, and at the stern are higher at the bow, the pressure of the water at the bow is higher. 
This creates a yawing moment due to the unbalance of pressure, and as a result, the stern of the ship gets pulled in towards the bank, while the bow is pushed out and away. What is the relationship between the ship's speed and banking effect? Bow cushion and bank suction effects are largely dependent on the ship's speed and the distance to the bank. The suction force is proportional to the speed of the ship squared. So the more speed the ship sails, the more suction force she is experienced. And suction force is inversely proportional to the distance from the bank. So if the ship loses to the bank, the effect should be stronger. The best solution to overcome the bank suction is to sail further from the bank and or reduce speed in advance. There is a rule of thumb, if the ship sails further than three times the breadth of the ship from the bank then the bank suction can be controlled. Come back to the situation of the ship ever given in the Suez Canal. This is a narrow channel for this kind of huge vessel. The wind was strongly from the south. To ensure the steering possibility of the ship by increasing the effectiveness of water flow created from the propeller to the rudder, the ship may be sailed at the speed of 13 knots because low revolution of the propeller or lower engine can result in reducing steering moment. From that must be a challenge to control the ship with the south wind in the narrow channel. However, at a certain moment due to a particular reason, if the ship was too close to a bank, the banking effects could push the bow away. The suction force may be so strong that she became uncontrollable then lead to the accident. This theory is reasonably and logically supported by track plotting of the ship from the air's data and available information. In this explanation, the squat effect is not included. The squat effect in a shallow channel can be a factor that adds to the problem. The investigation from the maneuver data could clarify if any technical problem or human factor could be the cause of the accident.